Hi everybody, welcome to the sixth in this ongoing series of videos regarding motorcycle safety helmet standards, specifically DOT, ECE, and the Snell standard. Uh, in this particular video, I thought it might be a good idea to talk about what the basic component parts of a motorcycle safety helmet are. Uh, you know, there are a lot of different kinds of helmets out there. There's hard hats that you'd call a helmet. There's fireman's helmets, football helmets. Uh, what makes a motorcycle helmet a motorcycle helmet? So uh, it starts with the, the hard outer shell. And I've dismantled a, a half helmet here to, to be able to better show you what we're talking about. Uh, this particular shell is fiberglass. Um, most common materials for shells are fiberglass, uh, sometimes a carbon fiber or Kevlar reinforced. Um, then you get into the plastics like ABS, polycarbonate, a blend therein. And um, the job of the hard outer shell is to take that initial hit and disperse the energy. They do crush and flex to a certain extent and spread that energy out. Uh, again, on the inside of this, you can see that you can probably make out the fiberglass weave on this particular one. Now, when I first started in the industry way back in the 70s, I would tell you uh, the helmets that were plastic in those days, man, I, I would, have, would have never allowed a friend or, or a loved one to wear one. Uh, we didn't sell them in the first store that I worked in because plastics in those days were brittle. I saw, I saw sn uh, shells that literally just cracked. Uh, holes get put through them. Uh, I, they just weren't good. They bounced. They, they had a, a rebound energy that was crazy, and so uh, they just weren't good. But you know, you're going back to 1976, you know, 40 odd years ago. Uh, nowadays, you know, plastics have come a long way, and in fact, modern plastics they test very, very well. You can see tests of, of plastics versus uh, fiber composites that you if you really didn't have a magnifying glass, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Particularly the latest round of, of uh, alloys, they call them plastic alloys, like our KPA, where they use nanotechnology and they mix fibers that are very similar, similar in a chemical sense to uh, the makeup of those high-end fiber products, the, the current uh, fiber products, and they blend them with polymers, and uh, boy, they test really well. I personally think they might be the future of helmet shells, but I digress. So hard outer shell dissipates that energy. Then it goes to an energy absorbing liner. This is a crushable material. Uh, some people use, uh, most use EPS, ex expanded polystyrene. Some use EPP, expanded polypropylene, but they essentially do the same thing. Uh, this starts as what looks like almost a grain of sand and then through pressure, uh, moisture, heat, they expand and bond together so you get little balls. If, if you've ever had one of those inexpensive coolers that you can buy at you know, most quick marts, uh, if you keep them around your garage long enough, you probably swept up balls, you know, little itty bitty balls of, of styrofoam. It's essentially the same material. Of course, there are different quality levels. There are different densities and such. But uh, this, this portion of the helmet's job is to give up its life to protect your brain. And so when it gets hit, it crushes. And each of those little balls spreads that energy out among them. And the crushing absorbs some of that energy to, uh, to prevent it from hitting your head and which ultimately means hitting your brain. Internally then we've got comfort padding and more and more common uh, you're finding that often it's removable so you can wash it and keep it fresh. Uh, not always, sometimes they're sewn in. But really the job of the comfort padding is exactly as the name implies. You're not gonna wear this thing if it's miserably uncomfortable. So this helps keep it in place on your head and it makes it hopefully all day comfortable. And finally it's the retention system which would be the straps that you see here. Uh, you can see the rivets that hold that strap on. <coughs> Excuse me. This particular helmet has a quick release buckle. Uh, really, really popular in today's market. And then you also hear about double D rings. And just in case uh, you didn't know, a double D is because it essentially looks like a D and there's two of them. So uh, those are the component parts that make up a motorcycle safety helmet. and. Uh, I hope that you found that interesting and stay safe out there.